Albans have raised £3 million to restore a local cinema that had lain derelict for nearly two decades. Supermarket chains and property developers had all shown interest in the Art Deco building. But now, the Odyssey Cinema has finally reopened its doors. Yvonne Hall has more. Just a few hours before its grand opening, and the new Odyssey Cinema in St Albans is looking, well, alarmingly unfinished. But the building site is miraculously transformed, showing off the painstakingly restored Art Deco features. Outside, the queues are growing, with some of the thousands who have helped raise more than £3 million to save their local cinema. 7pm, and the Odyssey is finally ready for its debut. We invested many years ago when it was just a dream, and it's terrific to see it actually happening. It's lovely to see that, you know, what was a really horrible derelict building, looking fantastic, all lit up, all these people here. Yeah, I think it's really good. The whole street is now starting to get renovated. It's been a hot, it's been a rough area for quite a while. So it's just been a lot of life for quite a hard part of St Albans, I think. This is what it looked like after the Odeon closed down here in 1995. Since then, Tesco has tried to build a supermarket on the site, then developers had permission to demolish it and build flats. But none of them reckoned on the power of a campaign spearheaded by a 15-year-old schoolgirl. I wrote to the local paper, um, just saying how confused I was that this was going to happen and how it was you know, such a shame that St Albans was going to lose such character and such a historic building. Um, and then they got back to me within a couple of hours and said, um, can we meet you at the cinema uh, tomorrow with a petition and we'll take a photograph of you and we'll help you launch a campaign. Cinema entrepreneur James Hannaway helped raise more than £3 million. In three months they've raised £3 million locally. Small investments, loans, donations, sponsorship. Fantastic. And then we had to raise the rest. And it kept going up and up and up. Well, this is one of the best features of the Odyssey. You can sit in comfortable chairs at a table and order food and drink while you're watching the film. The loose seats cost £11 a ticket, the stairs in the circle, they're nine. The Odyssey plans to show a mix of old and new films and opens fully to the public on December the 13th. Yvonne Hall, BBC London News, St Albans. Now, she's better known for comedy roles in The Green Wing and across Atlantic Pitch.